So tell me about this flat earth. Um, okay. Let me hear all about it. So I'm really confused. <laughs> yes. Of course, Shannon's Already. confused about flat earth, right? Um, yeah. I don't even know where it says. Okay. So the leading flat earth theory holds that earth is a disc with the Arctic circle in the center of Antarctica, a 150 foot tall wall of ice around the rim. So is it like um, Game of Thrones, they think? Yeah. Well, I mean, if Game of Thrones is flat, yeah, I guess it but would be like no, that. But no, the wall of ice. Yeah, they don't, yeah. It is, it is kind of like that. What's beyond the wall of ice? That's the question. Do you know? This um, is what throws me off. What? The flat earthers are saying that gravity is an illusion. Yes. So we all, we're all delusional almost? Well, you know. Because gravity. Well, it, uh, the question is, if we're rotating. Gravity. I, see, I, 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 well, Was I, that an illusion? See, I don't know if, I don't know if they believe we're rotating. Um, they may believe we're rotating, but I, but say that we're a flat plate, but we are rotating. There will be we be pushed. There'll be more pressure being pushed to the center, right? And um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm reading facts on this okay. flat well, earth. I'm, I'm just saying that it, it, they're saying that it would be pushed to the center, and that may be the definition of what they consider gravity versus what we consider gravity. So this is what they believe that objects do not accelerate downward. Instead, the disk of the Earth accelerates upward by a force called dark energy. <gasps> hmm, that's boom, boom, boom. I never heard of that before. That's, that's interesting. I, wouldn't you be curious? Shannon, are dark you, energy. Shannon, do you have any sense of curiosity to see what perspective <laughs> that would be? Do you? My guest, our guest cannot be mad that I am not a believer of this, but that's why he's supposed to make us one, right? Well, I mean, I'm saying, but can you have a little bit of an open, open mind that there may be, what if he's not? Sure, I'll be open-minded all day long. This is fun. Okay, what if he's not completely correct, right, but he's onto something? What if we bring in the space space uh, programs and what they're doing in the... Uh, in, they what, think, uh, flat earthers think that NASA is set up for money. That's it. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's a I, mock. I, I, it's I, not I, real. I, I personally they believe NASA is Do you corrupt. think that we went to the moon? Okay. Oh, my God. Listen, listen. I'm, oh I'm going to share some, share some bomb dropping here. All, all right. right. Uh, this is where all of my, my fans <laughs> leave because they're like, here goes Tim. Uh, all right, Tim. All right. So... I do believe that we are experiencing influences from beyond this world um, and that they've been manipulating mankind for a long time. I feel like right? if I do this, I can at least hide so I'm not part of this conversation. And with that being said, I do believe that they share certain techn technological advances to a certain level of humans, not only in the United States, but around the country, around the world. And I believe that we have now over the decades have developed technology 300 years plus more than what we see today in our day to day, mm -hmm. and that that we are we are manipulated by this. Okay, we have we have not only landed on the moon prior to the nineteen sixty whatever it was seven when we we seen that we did, um, or at least on television. But we have landed prior to that, perhaps in the forties. So you're agreeing that we've landed on the moon? Oh, not only land on the moon. I think we've been industrializing Mars, uh, the moon, and other planets. That there's a space program going forward. Faster than we could possibly imagine, but it's all kept out of mainstream media because it's all controlled by the same group of people, that which we talk about all the time. So if that is to be true, I'm not saying it is. That's what I believe. If it's to be true, then why couldn't these guys who believe in flat earth have some type of you know validity to it? Because everything that they try to prove gets debunked. Okay, well, we'll find out today. We'll, and you guys can help us debunk this guys, if you want. Guys, the guy, but Mark guy, Sargent, the, yes. who's going to be on our show, was actually on the Netflix documentary, right? Ashley, was he on the Netflix documentary on Flat Earth? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah. And yes, then on that documentary, Ashley, was it true that they were debunked? Um, that they it was proven that the Earth in fact was not flat okay. on their own documentary. Okay, but who proved it, guys? Whoever in charge of the media. Our producer, okay, but whoever's sir? in charge of the media can just debunk anything. Like Wikipedia, you watch well, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a joke. You flat know? Earthers Slopes. tried did tests and to try to prove flat Earth, but in the Netflix documentary, they disproved themselves. So, okay. do you want okay. to get into one of the? Okay. Well, well, yes, well, get into uh, one. Okay, but before we do, just just so you know. Whoever controls the medium, the media, controls the truth. All oh, right? God. So don't forget that. And I was, I, I'm, I want to be open-minded. I want to hear what, what this guy has to I'm say. I'm so open-minded. Can't you tell? Yeah. You're as open-minded as a can <laughs> with a tight lid on it. All right. What, okay. what, what are you going to say, Ashley? So um, Bob Nodell, who's an inf infamous flat earther, he conducted a test to prove his theory. So they had purchased a gyroscope to test Earth's Ooh, rotation. Oh, I like the name Gyro for some reason. <laughs> Okay, keep going. So they purchased a gyroscope to test Earth's rotation or lack thereof. Uh, 
And so if Earth moves 360 degrees in, a 20, in 24 hours, it would detect a 15-degree drift per hour due to the movement. But they don't believe that the Earth moves, right? So trial number one, the gyroscope did detect a 15-degree drift, but the flat earthers didn't accept that fact. Why didn't they? So they looked for more ways to uh, disprove a spherical Earth. So trial number two, they encased the gyro in a zero-gauss chamber, which prevents Earth's natural magnetic field from interrupting their test. Um, And he said, Bob Nodal said, it's to shield the energies generated by the heavens. So uh, trial number two still didn't work. They still (laughs) detected the 15-degree drift. Um, Trial number three, they decided to encapsulate the apparatus in a bismuth all right, all chamber. Right. No, let her keep going. This okay, is but, fascinating. Uh, well, is it fat? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, well, no, okay, well, okay, anyway, well, long story I, I, short. I have a very simple question here, Ashley. Yeah. Okay, if the, if the world is flat, right? Yes. That means if I'm in, uh, here's the United States, here's yeah. North America, and here's here's China, okay? Okay. On this on the left side and North America on the, on the right side. So if I'm in a plane, if it's flat, I can't I can't fly out this way to reach China, right? I have to go across the Atlantic Ocean, right? Yes. So those or, are the questions I want to answer. Some of the basic, wait, wait, simple t- questions, yeah. not the gravity drift. Flat earthers believe that pilots are delusional, that th- that we're all under the illusion that we're flying in a, instead of going over a sphere well, that we're well, going Well, I mean, we, sh- we should be able to look at their, their um, navigation maps, and if they're not flying to the right, and, and but they would have to know if they're flying west, east, north, or south, yeah. right? Then, then that means that they're flying over North America or, or the Atlantic Ocean, it's... never over the Pacific Ocean. So and that's a simple question, I think, that we should be able to get answers today on. Um, and that's simple enough. And now, if all the pods are under illusion or— Yeah, that's what they say, that they're under an illusion. Okay, well, that's what I want to hear. I, I want that simple thing. Another thing I want to take into account in question is the curvature. Why is there not a curvature formula put into play in reference to when we measure distance? Ashley? Is you there? Want, uh, you want to ask Mark? Mark, sorry. You ask Mark. Uh, well, I, uh, but I'm saying these yeah. are the simple things. And before, I, mean, I know you're doing the experiment about the all that, but it, it gets like you're, you're you guys are arguing the the two big. Yeah, of but a, you also go for any conspiracy. I, you is, are a conspiracy that, lover. You're a conspiracy I, gangster. I, okay. Lori, make him that shirt. Conspiracy no. gangster. I am I mean, not. I I'm a truth seeker, and truth seekers like this guy. This guy, Mark. My understanding is he tried to debunk it. He didn't want to believe it. He was like going on the road saying, "Hey, this can't be true." They've never, th- they've never found truth to it. Th- Who's they? Scientists. The thing Who's, is, flat sci- earthers. Wait, wait, which flat science? earthers haven't found truth to it, right, Ashley? I mean, they, you know, how you the whole theory or the thing with the ship disappearing when it sails <laughs> off into the horizon. Yes. Well, they did tests like that, and they still believe that the Earth is flat All because right. of atmospheric. Blockage or okay, something. okay, but Ashley, Ashley, yeah. answer this, okay? Yes. If if <laughs> if there's a fifty to ninety nine percent chance we are living in a simulation, why wouldn't the flat Earth be something that needs to be entertained? Oh, just do, do you believe? Hey, Wahi, do you believe we're in a matrix? After listening to that one show we had, uh, it, it makes Viz, me Viz, Ver, Viz Verk, right? right? Yeah. So I mean, if we're in a matrix, we're in this simulation, guys. Then perhaps maybe maybe the Earth is round, but we're still in a simulation, or maybe the Earth is flat, but we're so, still in a simulation. Let's go over some reasons why people think there's a flat Earth. All right, why? Uh, because some religious people believe the 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 Earth is flat because in the Bible, Earth is described being a circle, not a sphere. And they gave me an as Isaiah forty twenty two, but in fact, it's wrong. Let me let me just correct this real quick. So it said upon the circle of the earth, but if you go to the uh, translations of the original text, it actually says a round ball. So it sits on a round ball on the earth. So it's not that, that is a sphere. What a round ball is different than a circle. So you got to be so careful what, with what, what you read. What right? if we're more oval than than round? You know, more of an oval experience. Well, we are technically, you know, more of an oval. Do than a you? Round ball. What do you guys think from space, where you see our Earth? Do they okay. do they think those are real pictures, or no? Do they, they think they, they're photoshopped? They think a lot of them are photoshopped. They do. Yeah. In fact, in fact, they all come from the same source. So there's a the potential there before... could be. Before, oh, okay. Well, I mean, this flat Earth theory has been going on, you know, prior to the, the, the space launches. So um, Elizabeth says, 
If the earth is flat, then so am I. And we all know I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Elizabeth. Stacy says, flat earth has no facts to back it up. Every fact that disproves if they list as fake or an illusion. Let me tell you something, guys, how an illusion things work. If you look at any of the media, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a flat earther. I'm just saying I'm open-minded to hear what some people who have been researching have to say. But when I know about chemtrails, and I'll tell you what, I know about geoengineering, and I know majority of people I talk to are clueless. I mean clueless. And when it's brought to their attention up above, even then they're in denial, and they don't want to look at it because it's too big of a, a mystery to want to look at it, and it's scary All to right, many so people. Did, okay, so let me so, ask you this. All right, go ahead. So so why, if that is the case for one area, the human mind is so fragile and so docile Maybe they're not open-minded enough to even deal with the fact that what if there are some statistics or facts to flat earth that we're not taking account? Maybe they're not completely correct, but maybe they're partly correct. What do you think about them saying the moon landing was fake then? Because you just said we're building colonies, yeah. right? And well, industrializing. Well, okay. The moon landing in the late 60s that supposedly we had, I believe, was staged was was staged by the same director who created 2001. Uh, and a lot of people died around that, too. And I do think it was staged, but I do think we still landed on the moon and we did all these things, but a decade earlier, and they staged this because they did, they had to, they had to show us something, right? Because we were doing, we were traveling off planet, right? So I think it was staged, but yet we really did it, but not at that time, a decade earlier. That's what I believe. So, okay. But you do think that we landed on the moon? Yes. Not only that, I believe we're industrializing our solar system. And I believe that since the media uh, uh, is, is blackout on this, uh, they're not allowed to discuss this. And, guys, we are in, I believe we are in a controlled environment that, um, you know, we, we people are sometimes are enslaved. And these missing people, I think, are taken off planet. Does that sound crazy? Oh, my God. Uh, so my be it. brain. What, you, what, if I, what if I'm right? Entertain that, Shannon. What if I'm right? I feel like I don't want to entertain it. <laughs> Because I feel a little crazy. <laughs> uh, Bernadette said, if the earth is flat, so are my boobs. And don't think they are more like paperweight than a half sphere. <laughs> Stacy said, I live on Florida's space coast. If we're living in the stupid dome, why are they launching rockets all the damn time? Where does GPS come from if the earth is flat? I wanted to know that, too. Because what do they believe GPS happens to GPS? Write that down so I don't forget. Uh, G- GPS. What do you think, Ash? Do you know? No, I do not. I mean, from a flat earther standpoint. I okay, don't know. now, now, also the flat earth thing is too. Now, I want to. Where I wanna, are all you flat earthers? Come on. Okay, now, tell also, us, also, educate us. Also, I want to know. And you guys want to call in and and, and join the conversation six seven eight four nine four three four nine four nine five four three four five. So, also, I want to say too is that uh, that if if this flat earth theory is true, then then that means we have to take into account. That the sun revolves around the earth and not the earth revolving around the sun. Right, Ashley? Um, yes. Well, they believe that the sun is smaller and closer to the earth and kind of rotates around the earth. Right. And, and they must believe the sun is not something more than just a sun. It's not, it doesn't have a purpose of putting out heat um, or, you know, rays, I guess. They believe it's a – do they believe the sun is a flat – See, I, that's the thing is so many flat earthers, they all believe different things. They Not, not all of them can okay. come to the same conclusion. Gotcha. gotcha. Well, I mean, and, and also what, what I find this surprising, you know how the re- revolutions of the planets are? Where they, re- they rotate and right, revolve. Right, 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 right. So they're, mm-hmm. they're, they're revolutions around the solar system, right? They're rotating, but they're also um, revolving. They're spinning, right? Like Earth is spinning and rotating around the solar system, right? Okay. So why doesn't the moon do that? Ashley, you only see the one. You only see the one <laughs> side of the moon, the dark side. You never see the dark side of the moon ever. Oh, I was gonna say. Okay, is that Pink Floyd song? Yes, it is. Shannon, mm-hmm. Pink Floyd song. But no, there's a reason why Pink Floyd wrote that song. But you know, you, you never... <laughs> Billy said Tim keeps asking Ashley like she has studied this her whole life. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an expert, guys. She's yeah. the producer. She uh, knows. Well, God knows I don't Wait. ask. I, God knows I don't ask. Wait, Shannon, what is this? You know? Yeah, because this is like my favorite show. <laughs> said no one ever. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> It says flat earthers question other things such as mass shootings, 9-11, the Boston bombing, etc. To them, Good. seeing is believing. What does that mean, Ash? Do you know if that's seeing something? Is, is that saying well, that they're saying it didn't happen at all? Or? Well, yeah. I mean, they weren't there. They didn't witness, you know, those events. So how can they know that it's that it's real? 
that the media didn't just manipulate the mass and and fake something and put it out there. They need to be there to see it. That's why they question a spherical Earth. That's why they they become flat earthers. They do their tests themselves and change their own beliefs. Do you think that they do it because it's an ego thing that they need to feel like there's something bigger than they are? Like instead of just like small little speckles of sand, which we all are. Okay, so here's the thing. Exactly. Is you don't think you're a mighty powerful being? Of course, but in the in the end all where where's have you seen how big this world is? You were just on top of the mountain of beautiful Utah. Doesn't that make you feel like how small you are? Yes, but I also know I'm a multidimensional, extremely powerful being, much more than my three-dimensional <laughs> Where's <laughs> so, Where's my space suit? <laughs> I mean, a common theme amongst flat earthers is the fact that they want to feel as if their life carries some significance. Because if we're just a rock in the universe flying through space— it, it it makes us feel minuscule and insignificant, right? Okay. So they believe that if it's the Earth is flat and kind of, well, I mean, they all believe different things. Okay. okay. <laughs> so is that like an ego thing? This is what this is what I get confused over. Okay. Okay. So here, and Ashley, you can chime in. Wahid, you can chime in too. Um, and Shannon, I want to hear what you have to say. Oh, fantastic! All right, okay. You believe in angels and demons? I do. Okay. So what you have any proof of that? Yeah, I've experienced it in my mind. Mo- I do. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so why? I mean, this is most people would say they don't, they can't prove that. Oh yeah. Because it's, oh yeah. It's, they they can't use a scientific method for it. Right. So, um, with the flat earthers, why wouldn't you be more open minded to see about hear the science that they consider their science behind? We're it? going to. That's why we're having a whole damn show on uh, it. Okay, okay, but I'm just saying there may there may be something there. But you often people <laughs> believe in a god, right? Higher power. Uh huh. All right. You have proof of that? Yes. Oh, what's your proof? Oh my God! It's all around us. Look around. Okay. Look up, Tim. Yeah, shut, shut, Look up. <laughs> Real quick, Stacy said, "If seeing is believing, how can flat earthers believe in a giant ice wall?" <laughs> okay, but have you been to Antarctica? <laughs> have you been to Antarctica? Why is Antarctica off? You know, there's certain. You know, you have to. You can only so you can only go to Antarctica. I think on a trip if you like went through down through Australia or New Zealand and go there, but you can't have access to everywhere in Antarctica. And they're saying that beyond Antarctica, there's a wall, right? Beyond this wall, like in Game of Thrones, there's this beautiful f- f- land of, of like, Lantis land, you know, whatever it was. I mean, Are what, there what mermaids if, what, that live there, too, and unicorns? What if that's true? You know, even WikiLeaks talked about, you know, the president, you know, and Obama and whoever the vice president, not vice president, uh, Gore, they had to go down to Antarctica and meet some type of alien race. Do you remember that? Wiki, anybody remember the WikiLeaks on that? Yeah. And so what if Wiki? Th- yeah, you believe that to be true? That there was aliens? That these head leaders during the Trump transition of presidency, they went down to Antarctica to speak to pot- potentially some of these alien leaders. Oh, okay. What did the aliens do? <laughs> what happened there? I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> I'm saying that that WikiLeaks talked about that. And that was, you know, around ran around the world pretty quickly. Yeah. And and if you have leaders going to Antarctica, you know, speaking to potential aliens, then why couldn't we entertain flat earth beliefs? Okay, Tim is on board with this flat earth. I am not on board. I want to hear I have some I want to know a simple question about be pilots. You're if your earth is flat, you only right. need to go right or left to get to China. Or, or to get to the North America. <laughs> Wait, time out. They just did a study. Did you talk about the cardboard box at Ash? No. All right, so guys, the, the, a test the Flat Earther did. It's on the Netflix documentary. So they put two 17-foot cardboard cutouts with holes on them lined up and placed far apart. One man standing at point A, another man with a flashlight at point B. If the Earth was flat, the light would go through the holes and line up at 17 feet, but they didn't. The man with the flashlight had to hold the light above his head for the man at point A to be able to see it. So what does that mean? So you're saying you're that's like debunking your whole straight line thing. Well, that's what well, that's a question because I think that's a good point. But I just know? told you. Well, that's what they're saying. But I'm uh, saying was that fake? That wasn't a real test. Did you think that that's a conspiracy that they cut holes in different places? Not in fact. At 17 well, feet. I will say, I believe we're multidimensional beings, and there may be some, something else going on. Uh, in, now, they also believe that we're shielded with some type of dome, and that we can't get past that dome unless we have the key to get through it. Oh, you have to have a key. Or, you know, a special key. Symbolically, I'm saying. Oh, like your energy, maybe? You or, break through with or, a key? Yeah, if or, you're... yeah, yeah. Or something else, you know, who knows? But 
Guys, we're going to be going to Tribe Time in a little bit, and we have a game to play, too, Shannon. I think you're going to like this. Oh, it's a, it's a good. Si- it's a science game. Well, before we go to break, let's finish off what flat earthers believe, okay, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I forgot where my paper went, okay. went so you what, keep talking. So as, as you're looking for what flat earthers believe, I do believe that they – they say that um, that we this is an experiment, and because when you when you go to the flat Earth theory, there has to be okay, who's in charge, who's running the show, what is that? You, is it alien off base? Is it um, <laughs> is it God? Is it a divine inter- intervention? All right. So, what do you think this means? It says scientists look for truth, even if it turns out that they were wrong. Unlike flat earthers, to look only for evidence to prove their theory. So they're saying that a lot of flat earthers will say right away, they'll debunk it saying it's fake or an illusion if it goes against what they believe. So kind of like think? kind of like people believe when they believe in Jesus. I don't think so. I don't think like it's he's a son like of that. God. That's all that matters. You're going to hell. I don't think I don't that want to talk either. to you anymore. I don't think that either. No. Not so black and white. Well, I'm just saying there's anytime I have a conversation not, with a Christian, a reference to Jesus may perhaps not be the son of God. Why are you I'm hating on Christians? I'm not. I'm saying every time I have that, then they always fall back on, well, you just don't have faith. All right. So Let's I mean, go know. to break, All people. Right. But tribe time, guys. We're going to have Mark Sargent, Flat Earth Recruiter, yes. on our show. Can't wait. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Good morning, guys. Shannon McVeigh, Timothy Ray. This is Awaken Atlanta, and we are talking about flat Earth and why people believe in it and what it is. Well, you could say flat Earth theory. I, I was going to say that. How do you know? <laughs> yeah, can, How did you know? I can see that coming up. You just okay. I, I get it. A lot of people are because um, uh, the thing we're going backwards. Of course, remember, you know, most people in the past, I mean, way past, thought Earth was flat, right? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, back in the back in the 1500s. Yeah, yeah, they thought Earth was flat. Everybody thought Earth was flat, and then, of course, then you had you know people like um, you know um, what, what was the name when the apple fell down from the tree? Christopher Columbus. No, Just Shannon. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, Ashley, Johnny what was Appleseed. No. <laughs> George uh, Washington. He no. never told a lie. Um, Isaac Newton is the guy I was thinking of. And uh, and then that just kind of changed things around, and it brings a whole new formula. So uh, that's another question I want to ask too: is is you know how far back then? Why um, all of a sudden now that flat Earth belief system that the apple falling down from the tree and all these different things they came up with, they went to the whole globe. Um, how is that now not the truth? And I want to see how that switched around too. I think that's important to know. That's my opinion. I know? mean, I gotta agree with you. Okay. All right. So listen, let's 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 do a little. Game. Oh, good. All right. So, tribe time. So, Ashley, tell us about this game that we're going to play here. And by the way, we have Jackie Grunt's going to be our our Goodwill partner today at eight thirty. She'll be zooming in, and she's one of our latest hosts on the network. The uh, was it Meza Life, right? And uh, she's fantastic. She's well, doing a wonderful job. You should job. know, sir. This is your network. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon getting, McVay. I'm getting fired after you today's are. show. So, uh, Shannon, I want to. I really want you to ask him really tough questions. I'm going to just be like, I want to see right. your mind. Right. All right. Okay. All right. We'll Go, see. Go, Ashley. All right, guys. Game time. Uh, so we're going to test your science knowledge. Oh, great. I hate this game. I love this game. Give me the answers. (laughs) Chad is going to go first on every question. Go ahead. Okay. So. Oh, thank God. Saved by the bell. (laughs) What? Good morning. Welcome to Awaken Atlanta. What's your name? Good morning, uh, Shannon and Tim. Not this is not no. What are you not doing? No. Are you still in Al- Albuquerque? I said, "Geez, are you in Canada? <laughs> you back, back in Canada or are you back in Italy?" Uh, no, actually, I, I left Atlanta yesterday. Oh, no kidding! Um, yeah, I stayed a couple extra days. I had so many people to meet up with. Really? Uh, no, Did you wow. find a yeah. love? Love of your life. No, uh, <laughs> no love. All right. So, so Nando, uh, what's going on in Italy in the coronavirus? I heard Italy's hit pretty hard, or at least the the media's playing it up a lot. Uh, Italy's hit hard uh, everywhere. Even the U.S. I was reading the U.S. got hit. Is we just had our first too. death Washington. in the U.S. Yep. Yeah, Washington well, area. Well, you know, 60,000 people a year die of the flu. Yeah. I mean, that's just, I yeah. mean, that's fact. Yeah, I know. But, yeah, um, well, they said it some... Some old uh, old folks home, so uh, they don't right. know how it got there because they're not traveling. So who knows? Right. I think this is going to be. I think this is bigger than what they're they're saying it is. 
Oh yeah, my you, know, you yeah. think so too? Yeah. Well, yeah, I I do, but I'm not afraid of it. Okay, I, I think I, it's not I a think, big deal. I, I think it's just the opposite. You think it's smaller? I, I well, no, I'm not saying. That. I, I think I think it's being bla- uh, being blown up so they can start selling vaccine and making real money. Um, but I yep. and get the you know get everybody back into taking vaccines. But I I think that it's um they the flu and the uh, pneumonia you they don't what? separate the two. You know what I learned this what? weekend that. In my Uber, he taught me that on a Lysol can, it says that it helps for the coronavirus. On a Lysol can. So this thing has been around forever. Exactly. Oh, I mean, on a pledge. Uh, 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 a pledge. Uh, the cleanser. The pledge. Yeah, pledge. It, it, says, it, hel- it, says, it says helps with the coronavirus. They've had a patent. Bill Gates patented it a long time ago. So, but that was always a thing. It wasn't man-made. It, it, well, no, it could have been man-made back then too. It's just they're trying to make money, guys, and and depopulate yeah. oh, us. In my opinion, I agree so, with you, Tim, hundred percent. So, so Nano, anything you want to share with us? No, just called in, say hello, and uh, just want to thank you guys for such a. A great morning. I wish we could have spent more time together. I know. Uh, Me too, Nando. Oh, we had to run. I know. I hate that. Thank but, you so much. But, I ate all my delicious treats. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Shannon, and uh, I, what happened to Winnie? I thought it were for Winnie. Oh, she did too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nando, you That's have a great, great. day. Love you, brother. Thank you very much. I love you when people too. call during tribe time. I know, Everybody too. call. Yeah. Please save us. All right. No, I want, quick, I, I want to hear the said, game. I want to hear the game. All right. Real quick. Adrian said a couple from Fulton County both have coronavirus. They were just in Italy. Mm. Y'all ready? Yep. Yes. That's okay. local, though. Nobody cares. Stay away from Fulton County. Am I in Fulton County? Um. Yes, you're in Fulton oh, County right great. now. You don't live in Fulton County, but you oh. right now today you're in Fulton County. That's why you're coughing. Stop. Oh my god. Oh. Ashley's freaking I, out. I can't. Shannon, I can't handle this. Shannon. Ashley. Yes. Really? What? You're scared of the coronavirus? Well, I'm scared of every disease in the world. So. All you have to do is wash your guys, hands and guys, don't put your guys, hands to your face. Guys, it's the flu. Yeah, just All right. Wash your hands, people. All okay, right. go ahead, honey. Okay. Question number 1. What causes day and night? The sun and the moon. <laughs> well, yeah. Essentially, well, I would say the sun. Okay, what is it? Okay, well, I got Earth's rotation. We're getting into er, the uh, movement oh, of Earth and all that. Oh, we're supposed to use scientific kind of like... language. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. We'll be discussing that right. kind of stuff. All, all right. right, next. Or is that it? <laughs> yeah, that's all I got for you. Shannon, <laughs> Shannon was hoping that was it. Zero. Out of <laughs> um, how long does the rotation of the Earth take? Twelve hours. The ro- ro- first we'll go from twenty four hours on, to, to be from, full circle from night to day or the whole rotation. The Earth's oh. rotation. Oh, I'd say three hundred sixty five days. Oh yeah, that is incorrect. It is twenty four hours. Oh, oh, I'm oh. right, <sighs> sucker! I okay. got so excited. So then, what? Oh, it's the it's a, it's the Earth's rotation around the sun is three hundred sixty five days. It's the Earth's. Well, okay, I'll ask you this: How long does the revolution of the Earth take? Oh, okay, three sixty five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So revel yes, it revolves three hundred sixty-five days. Rotation is twenty-four hours. Uh, Stacy said the correct answer is twenty-three hours and fifty-two minutes. Ooh. <laughs> I love her. Ooh. Bonus points, Stacy. Okay, sunlight hits the Earth's surface most directly at the blank. This area doesn't experience seasons. The ozone equator. Yes, where it's hotter. Why is it hotter at the equator then? Because the sun is the most intensity of the yeah. sun. But if they don't, if they don't have seasons, and also, I don't would, get it. Would that would that debunk the flat? I earth? I don't understand. Would that debunk the flat Earth? Well, that's a question. Because ask. if the sun, if the sun is, um, ooh, Tim just yeah. debunked the flat Earth. No, I did not. I'm just you curious. just I'm figured just curious. it out. I'm curious how that would do that. You know. All right. Good. What? Okay. True or false? The reason we have seasons is because we get closer and farther from the sun. True. The reason we have seasons is because we get closer and farther away from the sun. Uh, I would say... Um, it's false? I would say false. Why, you just saw her <laughs> shake right now. You can't give Tim the answer. I'm giving you both. You Shannon. have to give well, Shannon well, the uh, answer. The seasons are... The seasons... Because the, there's the sun is shining because it's rotate the seasons because of the rotation of the earth uh, partially but there, okay so what is the reason for the seasons guys Jesus <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shannon's getting a headache I'm gonna write up some flashcards yeah. for you to yeah, tell yeah. the reasons for the seasons a good question is the do you, you want to know tell no. us okay I'll, it's I'll, that, can, can um, I guess can we guess. Yeah, the go, gas, go, guess, guess, guess. The gas from the plates under the earth. No, it's simpler. It's it's like, it, it, okay. Go ahead, Ashley. It's tell um, us. the earth's tilt. 
is the reason for the seasons. Because that the Earth, is, yeah. Sort of. The Earth's tilt is on the axis, and we tilt more directly towards the sun. Stacy, you are so brilliant. She is so oh smart. God. She knows that from her own brain. And before you answer, look, we'll give the tribe some time to answer. Okay, too. all right. All right, good. All right. Stacy, um, you'll win something. Did you ever send out her shirts, by the way? People? Oh, oh what, UI were, media? what were you supposed to send out last Billy's week? Billy's shirts, Stacy's. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, yes. All right, Since go ahead, Ash. <laughs> okay. Let me see here. Uh, the Earth's revolution is called an orbit. What do we orbit around? The Earth. Or we orbit around the, the Earth? The universe. How about the sun? The galaxy. How about the sun? The and nine the planets. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Tim got it. It is definitely the sun. But Which now, is now, one now, of the now, nine now, planets. Now, flat earthers believe that, that the Earth revolves around the sun. Th- that the sun... I mean, the, 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 the sun, sun revolves yeah. around the earth. Yes. That's just, I really got or that. Or above the earth. Or above the earth. It's all yes. an illusion. And yes. where does it disappear to? So it's going, like, it's going around, like, up and down, it's, right? It's directly above it, and it's just going in circles above it. But here's the thing, though. Uh. If the earth is flat and the sun is above us, smaller and closer, and just going around in a circle, we would be able to see the sun at all times, then, if it's Whoa. a flat plane, right? Right. Okay, that's just we need to, to ask argue. Mark when he comes on know. our show in 15 minutes. Maybe. Guys, he was on the Netflix documentary Flat Earthers. It's a big thing. It's yeah. great. It's, great. And, it's like a new thing. And, and maybe and maybe they turn the light out or something. You know, there's a switch. Are we going to do that here? I'm saying you switch. Turn it off. Boom. Mm-hmm. All right. What else you got, okay. Ashley? Good morning. It's Awake in Atlanta. <laughs> Tim just hit me in the head. I need to call HR. <laughs> right. I'm Shannon McVeigh. This is Tim Ray. Guys, we're talking about, well, we're in tribe time. We're going to play a game actually called The Blind Spot. Yes. And these cards are made by Tim's best friend in love of his spiritual realm life. I, I think she, I think Teal and I had some spiritual uh, hangouts in some past lives. Like what kind of hangouts? Tell us the juicy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, this is really cool because she did this with me and my card was right on. All right, let's see if mine is. I know, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so I want you to shuffle She's going to, no, I'm not. Shannon, you have to shuffle the cards. I don't feel right you about touching to. these cards. You Jesus, have to. Okay. Keep my hands clean. All Jesus, right, name amen. All right, there you go. Like... <laughs> shuffle the cards. She's shuffling the cards. Okay. And when you're done, lay them out here. Okay. And put your put your hand on it. <laughs> <laughs> Create the intention okay. that, that you want to you want your, All right. your the right card. God, to, what is my blind spot? There you go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna lay it out. Ooh, that one jumped out. You have to do what jumps uh, out, right? Whatever whatever jumps out. Whatever one you want. You pick any card that you want. That just jumped out. You pick it out. Okay. Uh, I don't understand it. Okay, so what this show show everybody it's your third card. Third eye. Show everybody your card. Number 36. Third okay. Eye. 36, right? Okay. Yeah. So no, show them this card, this part. This, these are symbolic. Oh. These these signs are symbolic of of actual our physicality. Oh, it's always the third eye on every card. Okay, 36, right? I'm looking, Yeah, it I'm looks look, like a balance. Um I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's a little time, but I'm just gonna kind of wish uh, get through it real quick. So tell me what your experience was while you're doing that while I'm reading this real quick. Okay. You want me to tell you my experience while you're reading it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, That's, were, were you that scared? makes for good radio. Were you scared? Were you scared? <laughs> Uh, no. Okay. So this is her card. It's called the negative reinforcement pattern. Oh, of course. If, if, you, if you have drawn this 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 uh, card, you are stuck in a negative reinforcement pattern. The pattern may be isolated to, the, to this one situation, or it may apply to your life in general. The reality is that you are doing what you are doing so to avoid something you don't want instead of doing what you are doing to so as to get something that You're you do want. You're such a good reader. Do you want me to do it? You want me I'm to finish say, strong? No, no, listen. Okay. Um, the reality is the card is that you're doing, and this is so true now. Bingo, right? um, Billy. Yep. This is reality. You're doing what you are doing to so to avoid something you don't want instead of doing what you truly want to do. What? Can you explain that? Break it down How a little bit further. How many times can Tim say doing? Yeah. <laughs> you are doing what you, you, you're doing what you're doing right now to avoid doing what you want to do. I'm... <laughs> All right, you oh get God. that? I'm doing what I'm doing because I'm avoiding doing what I truly do want, want to, to do. do. Yes. Think about that. What the freak did we just say? Think about that. Shannon, if that's not you, right on. Oh. All right? Okay. So I'm, I'm, there's a lot more to it. I'll let you read the rest of it because I know you're intrigued by it now and you're acting like you're not. And so, no, I'm um, just trying to say about how many times you just said doing. Okay, I, I get that, but but tell me you're not intrigued by that card. I'm so intrigued by that so, card. So what is it you're avoiding doing that you think you should be doing, that you want to be doing? 
<laughs> Come on. What? <laughs> Nothing. See, see, the truth, truth hurts. Guys. I just, I just thought of something hilarious. All right, tell us. Is our phone ringing? Yeah, tell us about some emails too. Okay. What do we got? What was your blind spot first? Mine was a uh, commitment. Like you were struggling with it. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like okay. I think yours is spot on. By the way, you do. Yeah. You think yours is? Mine was. And I think if you read read the rest of it, you'd be like, man, she'll she'll do it off air when she can't give anybody else credit other than you know whatever her. What are you is. saying? All right, good, good. Read read away, Shannon McVeigh. I okay. Hey Tim, hello Shannon. I don't <laughs> think that flat earthers. I don't think that the flat earthers, for the most part, truly believe in a flat Earth. It's simply implausible, and with so much evidence available to the naked eye that discredits a flat Earth. It's hard to imagine anyone in their right mind would believe it. So my guess is that the intellect, intelligent flat earthers are aware of the idiocracy of the theory, but are just seeing how far they can push it to see how many gullible people they can drag along. Maybe they just want to be part of something different and controversial that brings them notoriety. Well, okay. Listen, I, that's a legitimate email and some people may be doing that in that, in that environment. I don't know. But at the same time, so you think that really the flat earthers are all in cahoots to have a conspiracy against us dumb people that well, don't think they're like no, how much? I I think yeah, she's right. No, what I, this lady's saying. Okay, I, I think there's a lot of different varieties of flat earthers, and I I think that um, people need to look at all different varieties of it. But she's saying basically that people are just trying to you know do something just to say that they're doing it or to be uh, um, you know negative. To say the opposite because they want to say the opposite, but not have a real, you know, belief. No, she's or saying that they're it. doing it because they can't possibly believe in it. So she thinks that they're just doing it to like see how many gullible people they can string. And, and some some people do that. I mean, I get that, but I I don't think I don't think flat earthers and are doing that in that level. I think there's certain situations that are, are going on, guys. I think what we consider reality is probably the opposite of what reality is, because why? And I'll say this one time before I get on a rant here, all right, Shannon McVeigh? Say it as many times uh, as you'd like. Okay, we have because, eight minutes till Mark Sargent joins right. us. Okay, because right right now we have our, you're watching us with your five senses, experience of your five senses. You're hearing, you're seeing, maybe not tasting or um, touching, but. But you're not having gravity. Okay, but we're, we're our, fa- our bandwidth of our five senses, Shannon, is very limited. Like dogs can hear much further than right, us, right? Right, right, right. And people, and certain animals can see much further than, than us as well. And so, there is a reality going on. So, if there's a sound right now that dogs listening to. Is it in your reality? No, no. So your le- reality is is limited, right? Yeah. Okay. So if that's the case, then perhaps there are other things going on in other frequencies and vibrations that we don't know. And if that's the case, we can't rely on our five senses to give us the truth. We have to come up well, with Well, I think we, flat earthers believe that seeing is believing, basically, right? So they're really relying on their five senses, uh, are right? Are they? Are they? Or are they maybe looking at other other things going well, on? Well, the too? statistics that I read earlier was what? claiming that they have to see it to believe it. Well, well, they, well, that's why they don't believe in things like mass shootings or like 9 11 or things like that. Well, I say, I, well, it's not they don't believe in it, they believe it's occurring. They probably also believe that. No, they're that saying to them, seeing is believing. That's no, what it says. I'm just saying uh, what the notes uh, okay, say. No, we'll uh, ask Mark. Uh, when okay, he gets well, on. I believe that they look at other conspiracies because they don't just take what people say to be true without vetting it out. They probably vet things out further and they say, well, there's something going on here. I mean, that's how I learned my, my truths are. <laughs> yeah, you know? but you're. Also on another freaking universe. <laughs> am I? You're am in I? a different dimension right now, am Tim. Am I Ray. in a different dimension? Yes. You All just right. you think that you're here, but you're really not. You're somewhere else. <laughs> um, speaking of Maybe different dimensions, by the way, I believe if there are different d- dimensions, that for sure in your dreams you travel to them. Really? Yeah. Well, I is that crazy? No, I don't. But you believe that, mm-hmm. Shannon. Think about that for a second. You believe that in dreams that you travel. Sometimes to other I think that there's more. Yeah, there's more to dreams than that's we give a credit very for. open-minded of you. I'm not closed-minded. I'm saying that's very open-minded of you to believe that. You know, well, I'm just saying I, I think our dream state is more reality than our than our non-dream state. Like right now, I think I'm dreaming right now. Right, you really are because you're sitting next to me. <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> What a what a pleasure uh, that is. Oh All my right. god. All right. So hey y'all, I'm from Brooklyn, 
I'm Brooklyn from Texas. I was like, y'all from Brooklyn? Okay. Wow, Brooklyn, Texas. I was wondering if you think that conspiracy theories are beneficial to a society because it challenges people's critical thinking and trust in the government. Should we just trust our government or in NASA? Okay, but before I'm going to say it one last time, and I'm not going to say it again, hopefully. Conspiracy theory is a CIA operative word used to discredit people to, to vet out and to follow their truth. Conspiracies... Like, for example, the uh, the chiropractic industry sued the a- AMA, right? F- and they won a conspiracy lawsuit, which they paid millions of dollars to. Your nose just got incredibly nasally while you're talking about sorry, this. Sorry, sorry. But conspiracies are valid, okay? Conspiracy theory is a way to divert people from the truth. That's all I'm saying. Now, to her point here is reference to uh, conspiracies. Help. Yes, I think anybody who is a conspiracy, conspiracy-minded conspiracy belief system will vet things out and go further down the line of the rabbit hole to see what's true. I think they're more truth seekers. They are just, I, in fact, I think you could substitute conspiracy people as truth seeker people. Okay. And I kind of agree with Tim. I think that you should not just trust your government and trust what people say. You've got to search for yourself. Not even us. Don't listen to us. I'm sorry. Please, can you record this? Because I don't believe I just heard Shannon McVeigh just say that. What do you think that I, what do you think about me? I think you live on a rock. That's fair. <laughs> it's yeah. happy there. I, I think, I think denial, I, I think you're avoiding uh, your, what you really want to experience because. Is that the Teal Swan card yes, that you're yeah. going back to? <laughs> listen, during break, watch me. She's going to pick up Teal Swan's book and read the rest of that. You watch, I promise you. Um, I thought it was spot on. And you picked that card. You picked it out of all the cards. I did. Yes. So um, what do you think of conspiracy? What do you think? What, what advice would you get? Do you think it's critical thinking? Yeah, no, thinking? I just, I think it's very much critical thinking. I think that you shouldn't listen to anybody, but I think that there is a line that you need to draw or else you're going to be going down a rabbit hole of crazy conspiracies and you won't know. Next thing you know, you'll think you're a rabbit and everybody else is like well, an alien. Well, I mean, uh, guys. I wonder if Mark believes in aliens. Remind me to ask him that. All right. Okay. Okay. We have a lot, a lot more to talk about. I'm very excited about having him on because, uh, because he's I, your best friend? No, no. Because he believes in flat I, earth? I never met him before in my life. I'm just saying that I, I love a person, whether, I, whether it's, I believe it or not, who is willing to stick, go on record. Go on Awake in Atlanta with this girl who's <sighs> like, what? No, to go go out of the norm and share what his belief. I like that. Come on. That takes courage. That does know? take courage. You know, and That's and, what we do. Right, right. Many ways. I wonder if Mark's going to have his posse of flat earthers on here with him, and they're going to either educate us or bully us. Well, I hope they bully. I hope they, because I, I love bullies, you know. Because you, you are one. No, I'm not a bully. You're just... definitely one that pushes. You have propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't learn a new word today, guys. Um, so, uh, no, I, I think I like people who are thought provoking and who does challenge you. Now, it gets a little obnoxious if if they're not if they're falling down the same route of you know you get so far like you know faith and things like that. So, I just think that's something that we gotta you know you gotta have to you gotta have their, facts right to each their own. You have to have facts, but you also have to have faith. So, if they have faith that it's a flat Earth, then maybe that what I mean, I guess if it's not hurting anybody, I don't care. I don't well, care what people think. Well, I mean, but but why not have the dialogue? I mean, because I never... We are having the dialogue. We have a whole show I, I, okay. around Flat Earth. Okay, Ask but... me if I was happy about uh, that okay. when I found out this morning well, that I was doing a freaking show on Flat Earth. So, 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 so tell me, why don't you see this conversation on mainstream media? We do. They just had a Netflix documentary on it that Mark well, Sargent not, was that, on. That, I would say not. I mean, yes, but I would say more like, why does it on CNN? Fox I just can't News. wait to hear what he's going to say about the ding gravity. All right. All right. I want to see him jump. All right. <laughs> I'm going to be like, what does that mean? Is that an illusion? <laughs> all right, guys. Guys, Mark will be on here in about you know two minutes. So stay tuned. More to come. You're not going to want to miss this. Time to get real. Time to get funky. Right back. Live on Awaken Atlanta, and we are talking, uh, Shannon and I, McVeigh, and Tim Ray. We're talking with Mark Sargent here in a second. He's a um, infamous flat earth recruiter, and also what does that mean, recruiter? Like he recruits people to join him? No, he just he just shares his belief, and he's also believes that you know perhaps we're <laughs> living in a Truman Show. I wonder if he gets an enclo- paid in an commission. Enclosed world. So, Mark, welcome to Awaken Atlanta. Good morning, Mark. Uh, Good morning, and it is morning over here. It's 4.30 on the West Coast. Really? Oh so you're up with us so early for what you believe in. Hey, Mark, thank you, I, thank you I for am. doing that, by the way. And, um, you know, we've been talking about this for a little bit, and I, I think I'm maybe a little bit more open-minded than my co-host. Yeah. Um, at the same time, 
Um, I have one like <laughs> one simple question that I, I really I like to get off my chest if I could, and um, and yeah. you know I, I think most of us we've been talking about flat Earth to a certain degree. So if they've been listening, they have an idea what they're getting into. But sure. if we are flat, right? Mm-hmm. You got the west and you got the east, okay? Oh. And you know, and I, I want to go to uh, China. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't go off from California. There, I would have to go across the Atlantic Ocean, right? To get to yeah, China. yeah, it's not like a Pac Man universe, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, okay. So, where you leave, where you leave one side of the screen and all of a sudden, <laughs> you're side. okay. No, so, I don't, I don't think that's how it works. We're pretty uh, sure. <laughs> okay, so if so, if I have to go in one direction to get to one place or get to the same yeah. place, um, yeah. then, then, uh, when I went to Maui, you know, went to Hawaii, I took yeah. off from Pacific, I didn't travel over the Atlantic Ocean to get to, um, Hawaii. So are these are these places in different than the, what the map that we see today or no, um, no, the, how does that the work? Maps, the map that we use, just so you know, and it's not going to be able to show it really well on this because, you know, this is what we're talking about. Yeah. You know, you're not living on this little rock covered with uh, smoke and water. You're living basically in a snow a globe, a planetarium, yeah. a terrarium, you know, and the map that's being used, and I don't know if you can see it real, real well, but yeah. I'm sure you're pretty pop it up for you is the um is the un flag which is the aqua uh i'm sorry the azimuthal equidistant map and that's kind of a mouthful right but the only continent that doesn't look like like the un flag would be antarctica that's that's basically everything else looks pretty much like it should at least we think so except for antarctica which isn't this little island continent it's basically stretched around us on all sides so All all roads lead to antarctica Okay, that's interesting. So, so back to my question. I want to fly yeah. an airplane from yeah. North North America, say from California to yeah. China. Am yeah. I going east or am I going west? You're, uh, what, what is east and west at that point? Because we don't even know what it, north, south, east, and west don't even exist. But you're going west. Okay. okay. So across across the Pacific Ocean. Okay. But you're not going the necessarily the route that you think you're going. You're going actually closer to Alaska than anything which is why flights which should divert to hawaii get diverted to alaska okay this is that's confusing to me man and you're gonna have to straighten that out for me because i i, I want to get to the other he things hasn't too. stopped talking about it since 6 30 a.m please I'm, I'm just educate saying, I'm the just man saying, if, okay. if, if i'm on a map you just like, pick, okay. that, pick that map up real quick or pick that globe up real quick show it there okay uh if i could see on the um where's north america you can't um, see it. Well, I'm saying it's, it's really, really small to see. Just, but throw it at me one more time. Okay, if I'm on, I'm in, I'm on the map on the on the on the west side, uh, right, west side of the map on the end is North America. On yes, the so leaving, east side, you're leaving from California to China. Yeah, but on the east side of the map is China. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if I had to get to China, I'd have to go. I'd have to travel east to get to China, not west. Because I'm at the edge of the of the of the of the flat Earth, I'm on the edge here on North America. What? N- no, no, because North America isn't. Uh, again, we should have some graphics to pull up. No, because North America is pushing towards the center. So oh, okay, it, okay, in, okay. In okay. this thing, we're talking that the North really Pole is it? literally in the yeah, center. It's like, he's, he's saying North America is not on the on the globe. It's not on the left side. Left side of the. Center. No, no, no. It's in the center, basically. In fact, most of the North, <clears throat> all of North America, and uh europe and everything that's kind of in the center of this we're talking the north pole is in the center it's like a dinner plate okay so in in the center of that is north pole and then around that are the the northern hemisphere continents and on the outer we'll call it the outer rim that's where you have out africa and australia and south America. okay okay on the outer rim <laughs> t- let yes. me t- take me on the outer rim on the outer rim because we're surrounded yeah. by antarctica right antarctica yes. surrounds everything yes so on the outer rim on the uh, on the, let's just say I'm just gonna say east on the east on the west side for now okay yeah on the on the on the far left side not top of bottom but left side yeah. okay let's just call it call it west for for argument is what yeah. is what continent is on oh, the oh okay cl- so out, if you land. were like trying to see what the farthest distances were what who's who's on the outer outer yes. edges yes you would have uh, South America on one side again look up the UN flag okay. if you can. Uh, the South America on the one side, the the southern part of South America, and then Australia, New Zealand on the other okay. side. Okay, so if I wanted to get to, um, <laughs> if I'm in South America on one yeah. side, and I want to get to Australia, I yeah. would, I could. You're saying I couldn't be going uh, east. I'd have to go west 
or t- to the other side. Yeah, yeah, you're going, you're going. Actually, yeah, that's where the flight that, routes that, don't. Make any then, sense. then how 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 does it work with the flight pilots here and their navigation? Because it sounds like um, there could only go one direction, and they can't be going either. Because uh, the globe yeah, says you yeah, go either way. No, it's a good question because the GPS system guides them in the way that they want. You remember the GPS system is U.S. military designed in the '90s. 32 supposedly blanket satellites, uh, you know, covering the whole thing. And you have, and they have to skirt you. They're basically not going across massive chunks of ocean that they think they are. The pilots just get in and they throw it on, you know, the planes basically fly themselves and they come as close as they can, as they can to the continents, but usually not within visual range. And that's where, again, the pilots don't know. They, it, and even <sighs> if they did know, who are they going to tell? Okay. Then what, what, what about the prize prior to the uh, GPS? The ones, I mean, why were there stories about that prior to the GPS, the pilots who are traveling around in planes, you know, I mean, Oh yeah, well, I mean, even even before GPS, they had to use these same maps, the the AE map. So the pilots, again, totally oblivious to it. In fact, which is why when I started talking to pilots, they that, they were the ones that got on board quicker than anything. I just really? did a, a flight back from uh, London through Iceland, and the pilot when I when I landed, he found me and he says, "You know what? Just keep doing what you're doing. There's a lot of us out there." I was like, "Wow!" Right on. <laughs> I mean, it's an amazing amount of people. In the I- <laughs> All right, I have a question. Yes. If you think that the Earth is flat, do you think that all the other planets are flat, or are they round? I've, uh, like we've been taught. Question, which is okay if you, and I know this dates me because I'm older. Uh, if you go to a planetarium uh, and you look up and you see, because I have people say it, it's like, you go to a planetarium, you see Jupiter up, and, up, up there. It's like, does it look spherical? Yes, it does. Can you land on it? No, you can't. You're saying, well, that you're in a building. That's just a projection. I'm going, who's saying that you, when you walk out of one building, you're just not in a much, much bigger building? That's what we're saying. It, you know, sure, they look spherical, but it's just part of the show. That's, that's all it is. They're just lights in the sky. Oh. Right, so, so what's stopping pilots, private pilots, to travel? There he to- goes, back with the pilots. Well, I'm saying that's how you could, if he's saying Antarctica surrounds us, okay? Okay. Yes. So, so if I go east, west, south, or up, down, left, no, right, right where you go, I'm going to run right. into Antarctica, okay? That's yeah. a big piece right. of the flat earth right all right yeah. so pilots who um you know private pilots if i want to get on a charter or a plane right now why right. can't i just decide to in north america if i'm in the center i want right. to go up i want to go down left or right why yeah. can i do, test that out and see the outer edges of antarctica basically yeah i know the the go for broke theory which is hire a pi- private pilot say just freaking go in yeah. one direction yes I, there, well one there's several there's layers of why you can't do that the first would be you'd have to fly get a plane you know with enough uh capacity to do it i mean a big pretty a pretty big plane or a plane with a whole bunch of fuel second you're going to have to find a pilot that can absolutely ignore gps and go off instruments only because gps will steer him where it wants to steer him hmm. And third, the biggest one is the Antarctic Treaty. Uh, look it up. Uh, established in 1959, the only treaty unbroken in the history of our civilization, which says that you can't just go off on your own. Oh, you could try, but the military is going to stop you. The only people that are even out there are the military and military scientists from a whole bunch of nations. If the, the treaty also says, by the way, that no corporation in the history of anything can set up shop there from any country ever. Right. It's not even up for renewal <laughs> until 2041. Now, that's that's, that, that's true and valid, too, what you're saying there. But what, what yeah. about the people who privately go to Australia and New Zealand and they take charters charters to Antarctica? Oh, no, no, you can go. <laughs> that's that's the rub, which is you can go. If you want, like, if you two want to go right now, I think it costs you about 15 grand each to go yeah, to the beach. Grand, you go to yeah. peninsula, peninsula, have your picture taken with penguins and so on and so on. <laughs> but that's it. You are heavily, heavily monitored. You just can't take a helicopter or a snowmobile and just go, you know, go off to the distance it will not happen really you so, have to get to do we... expeditions out there you have to go through a massive process all well, right that's, listen, that's fascinating to guys me. we yeah. got to take a step back because you guys are going 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 what what would your definition of flat earth be for the ignorant people like myself how would you explain it just in layman's terms real quickly Oh, you're not ignorant. I was listening to you during the break. And you believe in other dimensions. By the way, get back to your, get, get back to your gravity question eventually. Yes, but I the, wrote the, it down just now so I wouldn't forget it. Okay, so the the for the we're not going to say ignorant for the people who just don't know. Um, you can again, you can look up the UN flag to see what it looks like. But what, basically, what we're saying is that the world isn't. You're not living on this tiny little rock covered with smoke and water, flying through space in a whole bunch of different directions in an impossibly empty universe. You are in a building. 
basically a studio, a soundstage, no different than what you're in now, uh, with walls and a floor and a ceiling. And it was discovered in about 1960. We didn't, we didn't even know. Our best and brightest didn't know until about 1960. And when they found out, they're like, yeah, let's not tell anybody about this for a whole <laughs> bunch of reasons. And that's when they just started spending money. They created NASA and all the space programs, and they've been keeping it a so secret So you don't think that sense. they're really flying people to the moon or anything oh, like God, that? Oh, God, no. No, the moon, the moon, even hell, even before Flat Earth, years. I mean, it, right after Apollo um, uh, 17 was done, people were critiquing it because it just, the, the Apollo footage and everything about the moon has aged terribly. Of course, the bigger question is, why has no one gone back since 1972? There's no moon bases. No countries ever went. Russia, China. Europe, no, there's no people there. There's no moon bases. No. Wait, what about the satellites? There absolutely could be satellites. No, no there's things flying around up there. But look up what's known as uh, the High Altitude Balloon Project. NASA is the biggest consumer of helium in the world. They launch balloons every single day. So are there things flying up there? Sure. Satellites, sure. Why not? Are they put up on the top of rockets? Why would you when you can do a, literally a four-ton payload off of a helium balloon? All right. Well, my last question, because I know Tim wants to get in this, but do you believe this is probably such another ignorant question? You know how there's different, like if you go up high in a, like a weather balloon and there's snow and it gets freezing. Do you believe in that or no? What? the No, we, we've sent up weather balloons. Oh yeah. Yeah. It gets okay. really, really cold and there's not a lot of stuff up there. Sure. Okay. So explain gravity then. Why don't you believe in it? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, and by the way, just, that is one of those common misconceptions. No, that that rumor, I hate that rumor. That, <laughs> that flat earthers just absolutely don't believe in gravity. There are a whole bunch of us, including me, that believe in gravity. Um, but it's not just gravity. It's also density. You're living in basically in a pressurized system. You know, you're, you're living in, uh, which is why, by the way, the oxygen doesn't get ripped off by the vacuum of space because it's trapped in here. So it's, a pa it's partially buoyancy and also partially gravity, at least in my book, which means that like you, when you hold like a volleyball underwater, why does it pop back up? Buoyancy. Uh, why, when, why does helium rise, but other things don't? Buoyancy. You know, the, the, the molecules are lighter than other molecules, so it just floats to the top. Wow. Okay. So, so gravity's fine. Gravity, gravity's fine, but it's not the only thing that's, right. that's so, keeping things around. So, so you don't think it's an illusion then? No, God, okay. no, 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 thing, no, Gra okay. gravity has to be a force, but yeah. it, but we have to remember that science will tell you straight up that the gravity is just a theory. In fact, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the world's most famous scientist, he comes, he goes, he goes, we can't tell you what gravity is. We can only tell you what it does. We can only tell you the symptoms of gravity. They can't replicate it, but it just appears to happen. So it's like, okay, well, it's a thing, but we can't, we can't do anything about it. All right, so you believe, and uh, the, what kind of factual information you believe that we have not gone past um, this bubble, like your shield, you said that the, yeah. this thing, that we've yeah. not gone past that, um, and that we have, because when we look we look up, um, yeah. you know, and so, so all the theories of satellites going out into space, looking at Mars, yep. looking at Jupiter, all that is all right. made up and lies to you, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the, it, it's worse. What, what's in the line for Mission Impossible? Oh, it's it's way worse than you know. Um, it's that NASA and the entire all the space agencies were manufactured to keep this thing under wraps for as long as possible. They weren't going to so hide it forever. So all of them are on the same okay. level. All of them are like in this conspiracy okay. together. Okay. Well, but, uh, I, let's. I, I, let, I, let, let me go ahead. Go ahead, well, go let ahead, me go clarify. Ahead. No, because it's a great question on her part. I'm not saying that every single person that works for NASA is in on it. I'm saying that 99% of all NASA employees don't know anything. They it's, turn wrenches, depolish need, A need-to-know need need basis. All right. Yeah, yeah, need-to-know. It's only the telemetry guys that need to know anything. Okay. Those so, are the only guys. Okay, so so with, with NASA, like, I saw the space shuttle go up in the up from the air, I and mean, I saw it blow up, too. I didn't literally blow up in front of my own eyes. And Are you old beach. enough to remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's an old man. I was, I was He's at, 62. I, I was at, Are you serious? Wow. I, I'm, not, I, <laughs> I'm not 62. But I will, I will say this. I was at Embry-Riddle Aeronautics in Daytona Beach, and I saw the shuttle go up, and I saw it blow up in front of my own eyes. And, okay. um, and these launches are going. So, so you're saying that when they go up, they can only go so far, otherwise they hit the shield. They hit the, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Look look at time-lapse video or time-lapse photography. And those are easy to find of any rocket launch. I don't care if it's the shuttle or even freaking SpaceX. They go horizontal almost immediately. But, you know, you only have to go up a few miles before, you, you know, you, you, go, you arc over and the general public isn't going to so, know anything. So, so why, why would they spend that type of money and manpower and all that just to have that experience? 
Uh, it's only money. I mean, people have asked that. It's like, why spend so much money on this? It's like, well, in the 50s, when NASA was formed, it wasn't that much money. It's just over time gotten bigger. You know, the, 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 the web we weave when we practice to deceive, it's that sort of thing. It's just gotten bigger and bigger. And it's like, what would you do to, uh, to keep this thing a secret? It's a big deal. And, and I, I suppose your follow-up question is like, well, what if people found out what would happen? <laughs> it's like, why not tell everybody? It's like, uh, think about this. Uh, and I'll, I'll break it down really, really fast for you. There's three aspects to it. Uh, one would be academics, which you get to remember that every university in every country, all your, all your physical sciences, you know, uh, um, astronomy, archaeology, geology, biology, all those things have to be retooled from the ground up. I mean, you'd have to literally clear out libraries and, and re redo them. The world economy would have to be suspended, you know, stock markets would have to be suspended for months. I mean, look what the freaking virus has been doing in just a few weeks. Yeah. And of course, the big one is is religion, which is the five major religious houses of the world, um, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam and Christianity. You're giving them leverage against science and you're asking them to show restraint. That's a short medium. It's like, yeah, we the, you can't tell people until you're ready. And that's where I think we are now. All right. So, OK, so interesting you say all that. So do you believe in the paranormal? Do you believe in ghosts, angels, demons? Do you believe in multidimensional sure. beings? Oh, no, I was a huge... Uh, do you believe in well, aliens? Do you believe in God? So, so oh, okay, well, here, let me... Uh, Go ahead. Yes, to believe in God, but let me get to the aliens thing first. Because the aliens thing changes with this. People said, well, aren't you saying... You're saying there's aliens. I'm going, oh, there's things flying up there. Look, I've got night vision binoculars. You can watch these things any given night. It's spectacular. I mean, it's, it's really weird. It's like they live, the movie. But... I don't think they're from, do I think they're from Mars and Jupiter and Venus? No, I think they're probably just older versions of us. I think so. It's like other recently, dimensions or, or interdimensional. Sure. In fact, it's way more likely that they're inter interdimensional than coming from a long way away. Because remember, if you're living inside something like this, you know, who's to say, well, one, it's not going to be a one off. Who's to say there aren't more of these? But the question is, are the, are the, call them aliens for the heck of it. Are they inside in here, trapped in with us, or are they coming in from the outside or other dimensions? That's the big question. Well, if, 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 if that to be true, we're talking about interdimensional teleportation or traveling there. Sure. Um, so people can travel outside the bubble. Uh, if well, I mean, why not? I mean, I mean, big, that's the big unknown. Can you or can't you? Yeah. And I, you don't necessarily need to. When it comes to us, we're not leaving. We tried for, for four years from 58 to 62, tried to break through this thing with a high altitude atomic weapon test. And that's also the bigger question. It's like, are we, are we kittens inside this thing or being protected from something on the outside? Or are we a box of scorpions that should never, ever be let out ever? <laughs> I, I tend to go with the latter. Most movies do. That's funny. So, okay, but back to my, my question here is if this is yeah. a trap bubble, and um, yeah. I mean, many people believe that we, we do, our solar system exists, and yeah. we're planets within our solar system. We are rotating around the sun. And yeah. you believe the sun is not a star. The sun but, is just a prop, right? Yeah. But, you think that but, that? But, but, oh. but, the, but does sun give heat? Does the sun... Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the sun and the moon... I'm sorry, I should have broke this down earlier. The sun yeah. and the moon... Well, I mean, the planets and the stars are just lights in the sky. The sun and the moon are slightly different. The sun and the moon are very, very small and very, very close. And uh, the sun would be like an incandescent light bulb, and the moon would be an LED bulb which and they're both completely self-illuminated and, and self-powered so again look up real quick things i know we're, we're short on time but the okay. um uh, the moon is generating a cold light that you can test with a 20 dollar point and click thermometer it's actually warmer in the moon shade than the moonlight by up to 13 degrees that now does that prove a flat earth no it does not but it blows away the relationship between the sun and the moon all right. Okay. We so, got to ask some questions for the fans, yeah, Tim, okay. because we got to get to these because everybody's asking. All right. You, got, got, yeah, some first of all, do you believe that orbit is a real thing? Orbit. Orbit? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, mean, like we orbiting around the sun? No. The, the sun and the moon are above us inside a building like a mobile above a child's crib. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. So, good. Do, can I keep going yeah, real quick? Go. Um, Amy wants to know, do you, okay. So you, she said, so this guy is saying that the space shuttle taking off is an illusion and every astronaut ever is a liar. The space, the rockets, the, look, the rockets do get launched. Some of them get launched. We've gotten so much better with CGI though, that I don't believe most of what SpaceX does. Um, but uh, yeah, er, well, again, I, I was asked this, you know, in front of an astronaut back last year, which is are all, all astronauts liars? Yes, but they're also all soldiers. 
you got to remember that every astronaut is a high-ranking officer in the United States Air Force, plain and simple. They sign the waivers, they sign the disclosures, and they do it for God and country. So, you know, are they wearing black hats and twirling mustaches? No. No. But are they lying? Yeah. Yeah, they are. But they're paid to lie and they're ordered to lie. And unless you're willing to face a court martial, you're going to do what you're going to do. Okay, but you don't think those same people, I mean, you talk about thousands and thousands of people, you know? No, 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 no. There's only been 500 astronauts in the history of anything. Okay. So that's not that many. Uh, Okay, but but, okay, those, let's just say there's 500, okay? Yeah. You, you don't think those 500 talk to their family members about it? You don't think their family no, members talk to their other Lord, relatives about the, the it? Military guys that I have talked to, especially Air Force guys, you can remember the Air Force guys that are even bombing in the Middle East. They're not even allowed to talk to their family about each of those missions. This is, it's, they take it very, very seriously. It's like, you know, they'll go to their, you know, they, they talk to you and they say, look, we will just so you know, we're going to monitor your phone and your email. And if any of your family members start talking about this, you're gonna, you're putting them at risk. Okay, so Elon Musk, you, you think he's his space program and all that is is silly? Or how about like people Elon that Musk I, is a horrible person? Uh, uh, the, uh, I will come out and uh, say uh, this. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna say I disagree. All I'm saying about right. people like Billy Carson and other folks that I do respect right. and look at, David Wilcock. They talk about um, other planets, and they don't believe in flat Earth. Uh, they, they well, okay. If, if well, for the people that talk about planets, look, any astrophysicist that's talking about other planets, uh, an astronomer, look, they haven't been there. They're just going off what they knew in textbooks. Elon Musk is a whole other thing. I mean, you know, look up the the New York Post article, which I love so much. It's like Elon Musk is a total fraud. Forget about even the this, the SpaceX thing that he's done or putting the Tesla roaster into space, which was absolutely impossible. That car should have been shredded by all the space forces if it was real, and it wasn't. Not only that, it didn't have any logos on it. Uh, the cameras worked perfectly, and then they didn't. Uh, but Elon Musk, everything he's ever said he was going to do, every project from saving the kids in the cave to solving Puerto Rico's power problem to the light rail from Cal- you know, in California, he's never, ever done anything. Look, the man... He, most people don't even know he didn't even found Tesla. He made his money off PayPal. That's he was a programmer. That right, was it. It's right. like now he gets to talk on every panel. Okay, in the world. so okay. With that being said, and um, and yes. may, we've, we may have to hold you over if you can stay over just a That's little fine. bit. Okay. All right, good. Um, well, because a lot me. of people, a lot of people think, a lot of fans think that you're you're talking, you're just talking, and not, and it doesn't make sense. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disagree with them or right. with you. Because I do want to get because Tim po- kind of believes in flat Earth. No, that- oh, I can. Pr- do you want me to prove it? Yes. Uh, uh, yes, I want you to prove show it. us. And then I also want to know how you got into it in the first place. Well, I, I do want you to prove it, but I also want to get into God too. But pro- prove, prove, prove. How do you flat prove Earth. it? Pro- prove flat Earth. Okay, Thank I'll you. give you my my five quick bullet points. Uh, people that have known me, I, I came up with these a couple of years ago, which was uh, five quick <laughs> things. So again. Th- can I can I absolutely prove to you that it's flat Earth? No, but I can create so much reasonable doubt in the globe that the only place you have left to go is a flat Earth model. Okay. Five quick things. First off, uh, first and foremost, uh, long distance photography, which is we all know it's like well, if you're not talking about space because you got to throw all the the space stuff out, but what do you got left? We got boats going over the. But horizon, we can't throw the right? space. Thing. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. Well, 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 well no, okay. you got to throw okay. out space because NASA didn't invent the solar system. It's uh, not like we woke up in 1972 and said, oh, it's a globe. Thank God. I mean, the this we knew we we knew the solar system model for at least five centuries. Well, how did you know it was a solar system five centuries ago? No, we didn't even have NASA until 1958. How did everybody know in 1957 that the world was a globe? It wasn't that you knew? No, we, we there weren't even any rockets. It was because you were told, and that's a very very you know high reinforcement thing. You put a globe in a classroom at six years old. You graduate from high school. Hopefully, that's 12 years of just sitting there looking at that stupid blue toy. That's a very, very, very powerful thing. Sorry, back to the five points. Do we do I have time before yeah, we go? Yeah, yeah, no, we yeah. we. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have time. Okay, so the, the five quick points: long distance photography, ships supposedly going over the horizon, right? You'll see them go off in the distance. They're gone. It's like, well, they've gone over the horizon. Every sailor knows this. Or every down on the beach knows this. They're gone. Ten years ago, I would have been right there with you. However, HD technology has changed all that because now you can take an HD camera. That boat's gone. You crank it up. It's back in frame. In fact, you let it go off again and back in frame. Well, that's a problem because eventually, remember, this thing should be over the hill. It should be behind the curve. In fact, we put the challenge out to people to show show us an object less than 150 miles away, and that's a long, long way that you can't see. And the camera technology has gotten so good. That's number one with a bullet. Everybody's just running down to every beach everywhere and shooting lighthouses and oil rigs and stuff that should not be visible. 
In fact, the only limit to what we can see is the thickness of the atmosphere itself. Remember, what you're breathing right now is only about 99% transparent. It's like it's 20% oxygen. It's mostly nitrogen with a few trace gases. That's number one. Two, gravity versus the vacuum of space. Is there a second floor above you right now or is it just a one-story deal? Just one story right now. There's a second story. So let's say you took the second story of that building, right, right, and made it to a vacuum chamber. You put a cork in the ceiling, you pull it. What happens? 100 times out of 100 times, it equalizes instantly. It's not like the movies. It's extremely fast and extremely violent. Well, the question I have for you is why didn't the gravity in your room keep the air in your room instead of going upstairs? And then you go, what's your point? Well, when you walk outside, why did the atmosphere not just get ripped off into space? If you come back and say gravity, I go, no, 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 no. Gravity couldn't even keep the air in your room. What changed when you were outside? It's like, oh, uh, no, because that's a really small vacuum chamber. Va you know, space is really, really big. Third one, the eclipse shadow is too small. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen eclipse. I don't know if you guys were down there doing yes. the Great American Eclipse a couple of years ago. Um, the moon is 2,000 miles wide, and but the eclipse shadow is only 70 miles wide, which is really amazing considering that's pretty much what we say the, the, the objects are anyway, the sun and the moon approximately let's say 50 miles wide we'll say 70 just for the hell of it 70 miles wide well how does a 2000 you know diameter mile wide object gets shrunk down and science can make it up all day long but it's like but same thing doesn't happen when the earth is in front of the sun we get this blood moon fourth the moon temperature which i brought up a little earlier which is just blood you know anyone can go out and test this 20 bucks or anything we've tested this with predator vision and, and copper strips which is the moon light is cold generates a cold light up to 13 degrees cooler than the moon shape it's amazing last but not least uh which would be the van allen radiation belt question you know van allen radiation belt super deadly surrounds us should kill astronauts dead and yet you know the the americans did round trips so how do the americans get through it from the 60s to 70s without shielding the only thing that can stop radiation is lead gold and a whole bunch of water they didn't use any of those they, nobody got radiation poisoning there's still five of them walking around today if you say if you say that they're deadly, but if you say they're not deadly, then I'd send you straight to the NASA website and NASA.gov and look up a little video called Orion by Trial. I'm uh, sorry, Orion Trial by Fire that was made in 2014, which says, oh yeah, by the way, we can't test man capsules anytime soon because we haven't solved the radiation problem. All right. All right. Okay. So those are the five points, and I, I heard you. And, out. and by the way, I put those to a, a Georgetown astrophysicist, and he just folded like a card table. That was it. He was like, nope, we're not doing this, and he left. That was it. Well, do you think he said that because he thought you were crazy? And he's like, I'm no, not going to no, humor you or waste my time. Interview. It was, set, it was set, set up by German television. They let him know way in advance who they were going to be talking okay. to. Okay. And those questions should have, he should have at least answered one of them. Okay, so so it's like on those five points, you know, and I can't disprove you right now in air or I can't prove you right now in air. However, right. with the photography, that can be proof. I mean, why not have um, that laid out where you see it, you see it, you see it at the horizon? Oh, we have. Okay. We have. We've, we've where, been where pushing is it. Where, it and, and where is this like document? Where is the photography on that where you can see visually and then you can see much further because of the photography? Oh, I, I could send you links pa all day long. Pa fact, past, I, past the curvature of what's going on, right. you know? Yeah, yeah. And by the way, the curvature uh, formula, if, for those of you who don't know, and most don't, I didn't, uh, which is supposedly eight inches per mile per mile which means um, eight inches per mile squared. So three miles would be three times three, which is nine times eight is 72. 10 is 10 times 10 times eight is 800. It just gets steeper and <laughs> steeper and steeper. So when you go like 50 miles, you're talking pushing 16, 1700 feet of curvature, which means you should not be able to see any objects past that. And you absolutely should not see the horizon past those objects, which is what we've been delving into now, which we, we couldn't see the forest for the trees. We were taking pictures of all these objects and it's like, wait a minute, we're focusing on the objects, but there shouldn't you shouldn't even see the horizon behind those objects. Okay, so because, so with this belief you have, what yeah. what purpose? I mean, it, you know, I you you believe in God, you believe in a higher power, do you? Oh, I do. Okay, I, I do. Um, okay, but, but here's uh, this. That was another thing. I fell away. I was I was raised born again Christian, but when I got into tech because I was a big techie nerd support guy for years and years, I fell away from from the church for a number of decades. But once I got into the whole flat Earth thing, yeah, that snapped me back into spirituality. Different than I mean, you know, I still don't necessarily go to church, but I've got a, a way a bigger connection because this model by default. Remember, science, pr you know, basically preaches despair and loneliness you know it says you're just this tiny little rock that's meaningless part of a big bang your life means nothing you have no purpose we push something different we say i shouldn't say push that sounds bad doesn't it 
the uh, well, I'm recruiting. Yeah, no, <laughs> hey, is, I mean, you said it, man. <laughs> which is, which is, we are, our, our, ours is a message of hope, which is like, if you're in a building, if you're in this little thing, you absolutely have purpose. You absolutely have meaning. This thing is way more intimate. And which is why it's been resonating. Uh, I mean, half of our members, at least in the United States, are strong Christians. And that's that's no accident. It's because and a lot of them have said, oh, yeah, I fell away from the church and I came back because of this, because the the the, the Bible and not to get into this. I know it's not a religious show. Uh, the Bible, those of you who are curious, it doesn't say it. it doesn't say it doesn't say circle. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say circle. Well, yeah, there's only one verse that even hints at circle, which is Isaiah 40, 22. Which right. Says he but it actually says circle. if you take the original text, it says round what does it say? Round ball. Yeah, but it doesn't say it doesn't say ball or sphere or globe. It does say round mean. ball. It, if you if you translate the original text to now, it it means round ball. So somebody tr- lost in translation, uh, King James version. I, you change one word and people run with it. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, different than a round ball. Um, uh, well, we, we, I, let, let's 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 not nitpick over this one. Just say let's oh, put this way: okay. every other verse besides Isaiah forty twenty two, every other verse talks about hell genesis let's just go to genesis which i love which is the firmament you know which is the the barrier the 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 dome that separates the waters above and the waters below which let me throw in one more jab and you can go to something non-religious which is look up Werner von braun you know the founder of nasa the ex-nazi scientist on his headstone which i thought would have been way bigger than it was just says his name they you know born died and it says psalms 19:1. it's like i had to look it up i didn't know what psalms 19:1 was it says and the firmament shows his handiwork. Wait, why in the world is he referencing a, a physical structure in the sky? Why would Werner von Braun? He's reaching out beyond the grave. <laughs> right, right. Oh, my right, God. Right. All right. Listen, Mark, thank you for being on our show. Thank you for, hey. you know, I, I still don't. I think that I, I can't get my head around it. Honestly, I don't. I, I don't think expect it's you to. For it, me. It, 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 I'm not look I'm not here to convince you I'm not here to persuade you I'm but with a name like people... flat earth recruiter you are there to persuade people well just put some ideas and like give you something new to think about okay that's that's what well, I'm, listen, what I'm, I'm trying I'm to all, do I'm all for uh, alternative you know and a lot of folks who are like oh this is giving credit credibility to it's not it's here in a, a, a alternative belief system that you may believe is silly which is there's your belief system on that and people may disagree with you and I'm sure you get a lot of that feedback all the time um, at the well, same time, I, I, it does challenge people to be more critical thinkers and people who um, don't want to hear that or they think that only their truth is the truth, then you should challenge. You should vet it out. And I think a lot of the folks who think that, well, you know, this is um, this is not no, so they're, crazy. They absolutely have a right to their own opinion. I think this is crazy. And this is my show. I, I know. I think it's insane. I, I'm just like, what did we just talk about? I know. But my whole point being is that you you, you should look at it, look at it and then vet it out to prove it wrong if that's a concern. But we no, already proved no, it wrong. No, I know. I'm going to go on record. Don't look at it. Whatever you do, whoever's mm-hmm. listening to my voice right now, don't <laughs> look at Flat Earth. It, is, it will change your life, maybe not in a good way. I wouldn't uh-huh. do it. Well, you know what? If being in a Truman Show is part of our reality or we are in a simulation and if Flat Earth, flat earth has any validity to it whatsoever – it sure makes a little bit more interesting getting up in the morning and doing our thing. So uh, people uh, want to reach you. I know you're all over the internet. and um, Don't no. troll him, fans. We, <laughs> do not bully this man. I'm reading your, your comments. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, so tell us how people reach you. Uh, they can reach me by just the easiest <laughs> way is just to Google flat earth clues. Uh, they, you know, you'll get to me. There's a lot of stuff out there. Uh, a couple books called flat earth clues. Uh, the documentary is called Behind the Curve. And uh, again, you know, when you get, if, you, if you're looking at it, it's not for everybody, obviously, but I, most people get into it the same way I did, which is you try to disprove it. If you try to disprove it, you're going to get sucked in. Don't do it. Well, I mean, don't, I think, I think there's a it. lot of validity, a lot of valid people who have disproved it. And, yes. I, and what would they be just proved on the Netflix documentary, do you think, or did you think that was for no. you? Good Lord. The, the director, no, let, let me, I know, again, I don't run out of time. No, the director hated Flat Earth by the time we got to the end of shooting. He absolutely hated it. He didn't necessarily hate us, but he absolutely did not want to spread it. And uh, no, the power of editing. Because he debunked looked, it. Anyone, the what? Because he debunked it. So he was like, I can't support this. No, no, good Lord, no. No, okay. the director, there was so much stuff. Remember, he followed us for seven months. And there was so much stuff he would not use because he just didn't want the argument out there. Good Lord, no. 
debunked it. Hell. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. We really got to go, but thank you so much. Hey, Mark, thanks for getting up so early and spending our time. Oh, no, it's been, it's been definitely, uh, if not if not enlightening, it's been definitely entertaining. Entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, Mark, great. Good luck with everything. Uh, thanks again. Guys, we come back. We have some more good, good news. news. And we'll talk about what we just We uh, will went get through. to your comments. We'll talk about <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> Why does your butt hurt? <laughs> Be right back. Hey, thanks. Intention, I oh my awake god! I know. I'm sorry. Did you feel like we were just on the Good Intention show because of I that did. guest we just had? I know. <laughs> so awaken, Lana. So tell us what your thoughts were. All right, guys. If you just missed us, you've got to download our UIMediaApp.com. Did you lower my chair? Oh. Um. Okay, I feel so low. Sorry. Anyway, he was Mark Sargent, who did the Netflix documentary on Flat Earth. Yeah. Was trying to educate us for lack of a better word on what his beliefs of the flat earth are and you guys were getting we heard what you guys were saying you guys are getting i loved it amy lyle at one point she said i can't take it anymore i'm out (laughs) but she didn't go anywhere did you tia (laughs) saying every word he's saying is utter nonsense and she said tim might need to check himself if he's listening to this guy tia uh, Tia, real quick here i I see your comments and I, i appreciate them but you know you in your field and vaccinations and i understand a lot of people think that you're, they discredit you and they or discredit the, the topic. Um, so having a, a voice where somebody else could share their opinion, even though it may be crazy to someone, right? But that, to shut them down and not allow them to speak and where at least they could be challenged, I think would be the same thing that's happening to the people in the vaccines or any other other type of theory of belief system that you don't agree. So I think being open minded, at least hearing what somebody has to say, and then you could you could discredit them afterwards or or during whatever it may be. It's just part of being you know so how do you feel about her saying that you basically are giving yourself what did she say it was something she just said not comparable well well of course not because you know when you feel like you're right and they're wrong that's where you are but my point is he's out there and he's out there one of the main spokespersons for the flat earth it's a topic that's getting oh this is what she said okay tell me how this makes you feel yeah tim you discredit Every other topic you've covered by bringing this <laughs> lunatic on. I know. But you know what? They, they say that about you, or they can say that about you if you come on, and, and anybody can say that. You bring somebody who's anti-vaxxer, how crazy that is. You know, they're, you're discrediting everyone. I mean, come on. It could go through that point. My point is, when you bring in people, whether you think they're discredited or not, you hear what they say, and then you discredit them, or you agree or disagree. That's but just part of dialogue. But did you hear it when he you know? said, let's not nitpick this one? It's like, this is a big deal. I know. You I changed know. the whole word. What do you mean don't nitpick this? Well, well, he wasn't able to explain to me. She said, that's not the point, Tim. Tia, please call in and yeah, get your g- point. Give us a call in. For, what's our number? Uh, 678-495-4345. But my, my thing is when he didn't explain to me about the, the map when with the, with, the, with the flying out. And so nothing was explained. Well, as I mean, Frank Kelly me, said, we're all a little dumber now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was definitely tantalizing, wasn't it? Not. Um, so uh, I, I think that a lot of people, uh, ha- you when you look at the specifics, like for example, the photography, I can't prove that. Can like when we look at the horizon, he it doesn't disappears. think that we go to the moon. He doesn't think that we go to space. He doesn't think that. That's crazy. Uh, well, I know, and, and I know, I know too many folks where you know where their space program is going as, on. And... As Amy Lyle says, do you think that every single na- astronaut ever was a liar? Well, not just the astronauts, but the pilots now too. Pilots have to know where they're flying to, guys. There are people in private planes. You know, and he's saying it's too far away. I just, I, that to me, that doesn't I think make that sense. people get mad at the end because they want it to be true, and then they realize this is crazy. There's not facts in it. Right. Well, there's it could, so many go- gaps and holes, so they get mad. Like, like he said, the director towards the end, he was pissed. He didn't want to talk about flat Earth. Why? Probably because right. he was used to dealing with like people that didn't do research that were, they were debunked every single time. Right. 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 Well, I mean, listen, you know, and could he be a psyop? Could he be working for the CIA? Yeah, of course. <laughs> But so can so can half the people out there too that I Mick that I Patty run into. said this is how the dumbing down of America starts the flat <laughs> Earth concept. Um, so uh, Stacey said, "Tell Buzz, Buzz Aldrin that the moon landing was fake. He will punch you in the face." Well, you know, I was there when the space shuttle you know, what was blew up, right? So I saw it launch, and he was saying they just do it for show, and then it horizontally goes off, and then it never goes anywhere. A- uh, Amy know. said, "Saturday Night Live should hire this guy." <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I think there's, but my point is, I would love to be able to see when you look at the horizon, there's a curvature in the earth, right? There's not a measurement tool because for Because we're that. a sphere. 
Well, there's not a measurement tool for that. But if, if, it, if it's curving, then it should be consistent the distance from when it curves when you're looking out on the horizon, right? But if we have photography that actually can measure much further than what we see with our own eyes, right, or binoculars where the curvature, where the curvature turns, and, it, and, it's, and you could see objects that are way past that, and that's proof of yeah, that. Yeah, Tia's calling. That's, that's... Tia just wrote she's calling. Oh, good. I got so excited. I know, good.